Hi, I'm Lance Minetti, and welcome to the show. Today I'm sitting here with Jessica Garner, physician and assistant at Pacific Medical Center of Hope here in Fresno. And here it's integrative and regenerative medicine for cancer treatment in its alternative therapies to the traditional Western care of cancer. And Jessica, please tell us what um, you do here. This is very, very fantastic to hear on the front end on some of the, the treatments that you do. So let's hear it in detail, please. Well, our focus is alternative and complementary medicine for patients with cancer. We see patients with all stages of cancer, stage four. Um, it doesn't matter. We'll see them regardless of where, wherever you're at, wherever you come to us. And what we do here is actually IV epigenetic therapy, and it includes this uh, hyperbaric oxygen chamber that you see behind us. And um, basically what we do is a little bit different than the conventional medicine um, because everything we do here is customized and tailored to the patient. So um, it's not a standard cookie cutter, one size fits all chemo. Um, we're not against chemo, we work with oncologists, um, but we're integrative. So we uh, kind of take the best of both worlds, both conventionally and in alternative medicine, and try to create um, a therapy that's tailored and individual for each patient, regardless of where they're at. Okay, regardless of the stage and the type of cancer that they have, your treatments typically work with the oncologist, yes. evidently, and yes. and you also do, tell us a little bit more about the, um, the intravenous part of it. Right, so our therapies are, like you said, they're IV, they go through the vein. Um, they are a custom blend of um, natural compounds that we um, make daily per the, uh, what the patient needs that are focused on uh, changing the epigenetics of cancer. Now that means the, the gene expression or how the DNA expresses itself. So you're altering the cancer cell itself through the IV. Right, that's the goal, is to kind of turn off the bad genes that cause cancer and turn on those good genes that help us uh, prevent us from getting cancer and help fight cancer. Oh, wonderful. And then another alternative uh, therapy you have is sitting right behind us. Yes. yes, this is our hyperbaric oxygen chamber. It's part of our standard treatment protocol. Uh, not everybody gets into it, but typically when a patient comes to us with stage four cancer, we advise that they uh, go into it. The way it works is you uh, get to relax in here for 60 to 90 minutes, watch some Netflix, um, and kind of take a nap. Uh, what it does is it gives you 100% oxygen uh, and a pressurized level. So you descend to two atmospheres or 1.5 atmospheres and get this oxygen uh, therapy, which uh, hyperoxygenates the body and helps the oxygen get deep into the tissues where it normally wouldn't. Okay, for restoration and, and, and care. Right, yeah. right. And it also works on, again, the genetics of cancer and changes the gene expression, which oh. is our whole goal. Oh, fantastic. Now, I do know that we have a testimonial of a patient, and we'll cut to the testimonial right now. Hello, my name is Susana, and I come from Spain. I had cancer in the ureter since 2008. I have been treated with conventional treatments, chemo, radiation, and surgeries, treatments that made me feel very ill. That's the reason that I researched for alternative treatments. I wanted more options. I found Dr. Nasami by a friend in Los Angeles, Nina Nielsen. She's a cancer nutritionist. She put me in contact with a doctor. After I sent him all the, my previous test results, Dr. Nasami told me that he could me, help me. Facebook works. It was, I was treated for two weeks by Dr. Nasami in the Newport office and the lab results come out good, with the tumor markers decrease from 3 to 1 to normal markers. The most important, the circulating tumor cells disappear. The treatment work, works. Dr. Nasami asked me to continue with three more weeks of tre treatment to get rid of the cancer. The experience with the Dr. Nasami and his staff was amazing. They took good care of me. I learned a lot about cancer with Dr. Masami and his physician assistant Jessica. I wish someday the conventional and alternative iterative doctors could unite to defeat the cancer. Today is the last day in the second selection of the treatment. I'm returning to Spain with the supplements and I'll return in two months to see 
how much treatment has progressed. It was a great experience and I had a lot of confidence with Dr. Masami. And that was Susanna you just saw. She came for, to us from Barcelona and uh, had an amazing response to therapy. When she came, she had positive circulating tumor cells, which you heard her talk about, which actually means that there were cancer cells floating around in her blood. And after our treatment, we retested that and they were completely gone, which was just amazing and very happy news for her and for us. Um, she got a, a, another PET scan, which is imaging that shows her response to our treatment and which showed that for the first time her disease was stabilized after going through just so much. She had surgery, radiation, chemotherapy. She had treatments at Mayo Clinic in Florida. So she was just elated to finally have um, a positive response to therapy. So we're really happy with the results. I am so glad to hear that. And thank you for sharing all this. Yeah. Uh, once again, we're at Pacific Medical Center of Hope here in Fresno, offering hope uh, to cancer patients a a across the world. So I'm Lance Minetti, and thanks for watching.